Okay, uh, the next band asked me to read this. Stick around if you don't mind some cream in your jeans. Here they are, Tenacious D. going to say just one thing to y'all tonight I'd say set the artist free I'm talking about this artist in here set it free I'm saying quit your day job now I know a lot of you people here you're saying I can't quit my day job I got kids to feed Jack quit your day job Focus on your craft, one time, before it's all over, you've died, you've squandered it, you fucking robots! Now after a couple of years of you focusing earnestly on your craft, KG and I will swoop in, we will check out your progress, and we will encourage you to continue! Or we will say stop. And then seriously, you must stop. Or penalties will be created, and enforced, because listen, this is the problem. Sometimes you follow your heart, sometimes your heart cuts a fart. That's the cosmic shame. That's the cosmic shame. And I know what you are saying now. What makes you guys so fucking good? I don't fucking know, and I don't like it. I stay up going, <laughs> why can't everybody fucking have it? Because this is the thing. Some people learn it on the streets. Some people learn it in the schools. Me and KG, we were fucking born with it, Holmes. Let's check it out. <laughs> That shit came off the top of my fucking head, y'all. Oh, God. Why? 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 It's a cosmic shame. Thank you. Listen, we're going to be over at uh, Captain Ed's Records tomorrow for a t shirt signing, Tenacious D style. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Listen, if you're not going to buy anything, I have to ask you to move on. Thank you, but we're not customers. We're actually here on a rare personal appearance t-shirt signing. We're Tenacious D. Greatest band on earth. I was in a band once, a couple of bands. Yep, I've seen it all. I drove a car into a hotel room once. Had a three-way with a pair of Siamese twins ate an entire horse. Well, that's pretty kick-ass. That's a cream dream. That's not the whole story. 1967, I'm on stage at the Fillmore East. Mm -hmm. Jimi Hendrix is backstage throwing up. Mama Cass is stirring a pot of her famous spaghetti pie. Janis Joplin's washing dishes and throwing up. And then the cops burst in. As I'm trying to get out the back door, this girl with a glass. My guitar's on fire. I've been up all night shooting cheese balls. That's cocaine and cheese. When I woke up the next morning, I was in a Russian prison. Total setup. It's a cream dream. That's not it at all. The whole rock star mythos is a lie. It'll lead you nowhere. It's like when you believe in the Easter Bunny or the Sasquatch. No. You mean Sasquatch isn't real? Look. Look at me. I'm your future. Let the dream die. Let the dream die. Let it die. Let the dream die. Come on, Jack. Let's go.
most of the psychological community agrees there are five stages a person must go through when confronting death. The first stage is anger. Fucking Captain Ed. Joint sucker. Fucking cock smoker. Probably not even a captain. Did you see how fucking fat that fucking lard ass was? Yeah. The second stage is denial. Jack, our world tour is just around the corner. We've got to make a list of our backstage demands. Okay, M&Ms. Two red for every blue, seven strippers, three for Kyle, three for Jack, one floater. And one retired astronaut. Good. Kyle, could you stretch out your arm? I'm measuring you for our tuxes. For what? For Grammy night, buddy. You don't want to go looking like a hayseed. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, right. The third stage, door to door rocking. I love you, baby, but all I can think about is Keel box, a sausage, your butt cheeks is warm Okay, thank you. I checked my dipsticks, you need loot. The fourth stage, temp job. Canadian yarn art. It sells itself, fellas. Now get out there and sell it. The fifth stage, acceptance. Goodbye, brown eyes. We wrote some classic ones. We knocked them on their ass. No, I want you to look over there. I'm going to tell you about the rabbits. Can you see him, brown eyes? Can you see him? <laughs> Kyle. The rock star mythos is a lie. It's like when you believe in the Easter Bunny or the Sasquatch. <laughs> There were some scientists trying to figure out the Sasquatch riddle. Then they figured out it was a missing link. In search of Sasquatch, that was a kick ass in search of with Leonard Nimoy kicking out the jams. Ha! He captured imaginations of people all around the globe. His name was Sasquatch, so I'm told. His legend's ancient in the ancient scribe of the Indian train. A bunch of Scientists have proven that the Sasquatch is real. Take a look at the plaster cast of his foot, now you know he's real. Listen real close to the audio tape, not human, now you know he's real. Couldn't be a man in gorilla suit, no fucking way, now you know he's real. Real, 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 real. Don't take this personally, because it's not about your playing. No, dude, your drumming is kick-ass. Uh, uh. It's just that the D, it's always just been me and KG. And we're just not comfortable being a power trio. Uh. I hope there's no hard feelings.
That's when they should see they were kick ass. And who should I tell him said that? Tell him it was Sasquatch. Tell him it was a friend. Okay. Tell him it was Sasquatch. No one knows what friends you're talking about. Oh, okay, sure. See ya. Yeah, so.